Gotcha. Okay, so for others, um, I'm going to, why don't you jump to that call and I'll try to close out the go to meeting stuff with some posts and stuff. Does that make sense? Hi, me. So I, did I just give other people a link? Hopefully. Yep. My I'm on Zoom now, but this this is working. Great. All right, welcome home. This works, right? I'm glad we uh, well, when we did. Yep. Back in the bed. Okay, can you hear me? Yep. Hi, hi, yes. me. Hi, David. Hi. All right. Hey, hey, this is yeah, the Zoom, here, right? <laughs> the Zoom thing is still is still is still a little challenging, but. Yeah, but last time worked perfectly. Last time, last last Thursday. I don't know why today happened this. So, the, David, how are you? Just saw you. I'm good. Should we get started? Yeah, let's go. I wanted to okay. open or you want you want to open the document? It's already uploaded in, into the drive. Uh, well, if I can share the screen, I certainly can. Uh, yep. Can everybody see that? That's the last version, yeah. David. Yes. Uh, yep, I think so. The one, uh, the one uh, edited by Otto, right? Uh, uh no. Uh, I haven't used that, but I can. Um, give me a uh, moment to do that. Yeah. Um, it's uploaded. Just I uploaded five minutes ago. Yeah, I also got a set of comments from Peter, Peter, uh, Peter, uh, uh, which were more detailed than Otto's, uh, but um, I think he only shared them with me. Oh. Uh, yeah. Second. Yes, that that is correct. I only shared them with you and. Um... Well, no secrets, but I only sent them to you. <laughs> uh, okay, let's try that again. Everybody seeing that? Yes. Great. Okay. Um, so just also just by way of background, uh, if anybody hasn't seen my email, and I apologize for repeating this for those who had, we just to give you the background of what we did since the last meeting, uh, we incorporated as many comments as we could and um, uh, added a few other things that we ran across. But probably the biggest, uh, well, aside from those changes, we just made a few structural changes. So we added an executive summary, which at the moment I think is very uh, short and simple and can be expanded over time as we flesh out other sections. Uh, we broke, there was a section that had both barriers and policies in it, and we took those and put them in two separate categories. It seemed easier to describe the barriers um, separately and then to say, and here are our policies that assist in tackling those policies. I think we adopted a suggestion that Jaime, I believe you made uh, to reorganize that policy section around three different types of policies. Uh, that was kind of an information sharing analysis and uh, you know, kind of connecting sort of set of policies, direct incentives, and then things that were 
mandatory uh, uh, kinds of standards. So, uh, and then we, we thought that there was a lot of detail in the policy section. And so we created an appendix and shifted some of those details into it. And again, that that's probably fairly rough. Um, um, so that's just a quick background on what we did. And I feel like we could go through this, as I said, also in my email mode, I feel like the section, uh, well, all sections could be made better. Uh, but the last section, which is about uh, who we want to engage with, is um, uh, is the weakest by far. And so if we have extra time today, we should definitely focus on that. But happy to walk through this and, and either talk with people, well, in whatever way, people can offer up comments and suggestions, and we'll take them uh, on the screen here. Uh, or we can continue to do what uh, Otto and Pete Peter have already done, which is just to send me, they both sent me red line versions and Peter has some extensive comments added in it and we can do, so we can do both things. Just just one one comment, uh, David, if you could, I think it could be maybe more practical to open the online document. So if you uh, make I edits, see. you make them directly directly on the on them. So you don't have to uh -huh. recopy okay. them and so on. It's just, just uh, let me see if I can then find that one, uh, that's a good point. And on top of that, if you could share the link to the online document. For Maybe the, Jaime, you can do that when while I'm do, looking for the document. Yeah, I have to. I have to. Yeah, it's challenging, but I will try. <laughs> I am with uh, two computers right now and, uh, uh, and, and, and three screens. It's just like I'm in a control room. <laughs> Okay, I think it's this one. Okay, now, hmm, I'm sure I can share that one easily. Uh, on my screen. I hate to say it, Jaime, but I think it's gonna be easier for me to do it the other way around. Um, I, 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 I have the, the link. I think I can share it. Uh, what, what do you mean? Is it where it's easier for you to use uh, the easier normal? Easier for me address? to edit the document that I have in my files and I have it open already. Uh, as you so wish, I'm just gonna, as you wish, as you wish, David. Uh, but I, I will, I will in, in any case, well, maybe, no, I could actually, no, I'm wrong. I can do it, I think. Great. This is great Everybody see that? Yes, perfect. And you have yes. the link okay. up there. So if you could share the link in the chat. Yep. Yeah, perfect. Thank you. And I'm sorry. I'm gonna save this link for. It's already. It's. It's. Um. I just opened the link to everyone as an open link to anyone who has a link, so it's easier. Perfect. Um. So. Um. Happy to walk through this and and I, as I say that at the moment the executive summary is very short and quite simple. Uh, we can flesh that out a little bit, but um, uh, happy to uh, take comments on it. Maybe we we'll just go section by section. But really, all I was trying to do was to summarize what was written in the other sections. And as you can see on the last paragraph in the executive summary, there isn't very much in the uh, section uh, about engagement with others. So I didn't put much there. So Great. do we want to talk about that? Uh, what's 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 the plan for this call? Well, I'm happy to walk through quickly the others and see if people have comments that they want to give me right off the bat. But I, I frankly think that it's best. I, I definitely think that's a topic that's worth discussing um, in, in some detail today, uh, Cosimo. And I would say that Frankly, it's it's probably easier if people just make edits on the document and they can do it either directly on this document if I got it right, hi mate, and or they can send us uh, send me comments. Happy to do it either way or both. We'll figure out how to sort it all out. Yeah, great. I mean, I would say then then if you can walk us through that document, then we can all have a, a better grasp of what it is, and uh, maybe we yep. can even uh, make some comments on the fly. Sure. 
Uh, so uh, this opening section on the executive summary, just as it, as I said, is really just summarizing what we're saying in other sections, uh, maybe a little bit more than that, but uh, open with a paragraph that says something about the, uh, you know, the opportunities here and why it makes sense to do it. Uh, then to say, well, even though it's been around for a while, we've seen only a limited number of projects and to summarize the section on barriers, which comes later, just listing kind of the headline barriers. Um, uh, and uh, I haven't quite a similar thing in the third paragraph, just to summarize that in a simple way, I'll add something later that says, uh, you know, these policies in general fall into three big categories and to list those categories, I did, didn't do that here uh, to make the case. And then finally, eventually, when we have something to say about engagement, we'll uh, add something about that uh, here, too. Um, so uh, if anybody has comments, that's great, but I'm not hearing any. So I'm thinking let's just go right to the next section, which is the yeah. case about the opportunity. Um, uh, so here I will say that one of the things that we incorporated was uh, a lot of material from the uh, uh, waste heat reuse 101 paper, um, which I may and Cosimo and Otto and others worked on. Um, uh, so that may look familiar to people, and you can see here already Otto's been uh, providing some comments. But in general, uh, we were trying to say, uh, explain the basics that there's a lot of waste heat that is otherwise cooled today that could be used productively, uh, and that there are end uses, as you can see here listed, uh, that are drawn both from the paper I just mentioned and the work that we did for uh, Intel and try to summarize in a simple way. I'm sure there's more that we can do to add to this a little bit here, but to summarize in a in a basic way, here are the places where things could go. Um, I would I would uh, personally uh, rather rather shorten that 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 part since uh, this part okay we, yeah trying to be to summarize it uh, since uh, we already have a comment that in the other paper and. Uh, well, I mean, yeah. we uh, we can risk a bit of off topic unless we it can help us to categorize these and and to mention some categories to bridge it with some policies or subsidies plans that there might be uh, then uh, it would be good to mention those categories. I know. Okay. I mean, my, it's my opinion. Just uh, yeah. And 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 and, and then in, in another comment and it's just a comment here, but uh, it seems that. Some of these opportunities are uh, more uh, detailed, and some other, uh, in, in, in other opportunities, that's just, just a title. I was wondering, right. I, I was wondering whether we want to put just the titles and then move List. the descriptions into an appendix. You know what I mean? Uh, actually, the, uh, actually, the, that is done, uh, Cosmo, in in the um, uh, executive summary. So all, all of these are in in the summary. No, no, no. What what I'm saying is that for for instance, space heating. You, you, they're just space heating. There's there's no description of what it means. And then That's correct. What, water distillation, desalination, and wastewater treatment. There's just that. There's no description of what it means. Co commercial processing, cooling, and refrigeration. There's a paragraph. So I was wondering, for the sake of keep these more concise if we want to put here just the, just a description just a uh, space heating uh, pharmaceuticals food and beverages commercial processing without any paragraph and then put for each of these a short description as an addendum so if you if if you an appendix so if you want to see what you mean with uh, bioethanol production, you go there and you get a paragraph of what it means heat reuse for bioethanol production. It's, it's just a, a, a suggestion, just an idea. I'm not saying that it's a good idea. <laughs> right. If I understood the comment that was made before, it is that when you go uh, up to the executive summary, uh, this sentence uh, does provide those simple uh, one line or one two word short descriptions of the sectors and their uh, and so this was designed to be 
a little bit longer and perfectly happy to flesh out the things like space heating that don't have a paragraph uh, so that they match, or we can shorten them up as you and Jaime are suggesting, either way. Okay, no, I know what you mean. So do you think, well, maybe let's, let's uh, I will cancel my comment then, uh, and then just, uh... To see it later. Maybe when we go so, through the document, we see the, the sense of maybe uh, taking to, uh, so many detail on, on, on this. Maybe. Yeah. Um, well, I, I certainly take the comment that at the moment, the descriptions are uneven. <laughs> so it seems <laughs> like we can even them up by making them, by fleshing out the ones that don't have much or, uh, or making everything much shorter and more concise. Um, so we, we, can, we can certainly do that one way or the other. Um, then uh, this is a somewhat revised version of uh, this last part here, the several factors making an excellent time, or is a somewhat revised version of what appeared in the one, what I call the 101 document, um, just slightly different language there. Um, yeah. Hmm. I think this is good. This looks good. Yeah. In my opinion. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then this is just simply a point that, you know, there are opportunities geographically uh, that, yes, there are opportunities in dense urban areas, uh, but that the rural areas uh, uh, or sparsely populated areas, I think we call them, uh, are have have some opportunities as well. Uh, so any other thoughts on that section? Again, everybody can, I realize some of you are reading this for the first time, so hard to comment right off the bat. Um, so then in the barrier section, which again, we made independent, we tried to basically do the same thing, identify a category of barrier. And then in this case, we are providing uh, uh, some background about uh, on each of those barriers. Um, mm -hmm. I think they are all very good B because this is what we hear time and time again, right? <laughs> yes. Well, this was uh, kind of a combination of some of the previous, the, the sort of the input here was a combination of the previous discussions that we had on these topics uh, in these calls, but also this is taken both from uh, uh, the 101 paper and uh, the paper that we also did for uh, Intel. So it's kind of a, we attempted to amalgamate it all into something that was a short but concise list, a short yeah. and concise list. Looks very good. The only thing I was thinking about adding there was a lack of continuity of supply. So, you know, where you've got data centers that are fluxing their load at certain times, um, you know, wh whether you want to in include that, that's something that's come back from a kind of colo providers that they kind of fed back to me. It's a good uh, point. It's a good point, but don't you think that that would be compensated by not reusing 100% of the heat all the time? I'm, I'm just, I'm... I'm... <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, think, I think you're right, Cosmo. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I'm just thinking it... out, out loud here, but we, in, 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 in our dreams let's say because we don't have real but in, in our dreams we always think that we are going to reuse like 30 percent of the of the mm -hmm. uh, because as 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 you said correctly the utilization of data center is is not 100 percent, not even close to 100 percent, right yeah absolutely but but it's a good point to have i, I think i think at least at at least to consider that to 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 factor that in during the project, I think it's a good point to have it. Yeah, I think it's just, you know, the utility provider is going to want that continuity of yeah. supply you know, whenever. Um, so, yeah, I don't, I don't want to derail it. We, we can keep moving on. What if, instead of, same... what if instead of putting lack of continuity of supply, we just put continuity of supply so that we need to factor that in? Absolutely, yeah. 
It, it, sorry, but isn't this also true? We say something up here about uh, this point here is really about altering demand mm -hmm. uh, uh, seasonally. Uh, and I, I don't know what the other factors could be other than that, but is well, there some point here that says that that's, um, that's the some, demand? Uh, that's the demand. What we're talking about is actually is the offer. So yes. the data the data center is not used at hundred percent. Actually, it's probably used about fifty percent of, of of the time. But it fluctuates. Sometimes it's seventy. Sometimes sometimes it's forty. I so we should ref we should rephrase this point then. So uh, demand. That's what I'm wondering about. Is whether we say that uh, yeah. both demand and supply for heat can fluctuate something like that uh the band supply but uh, if you know that well unmatched what i was trying to say is that if you know that and you offer the utility company 30 percent of your heat that is almost certainly a a, a a constant amount of heat that you can offer consistently but still still is about is uh, it can consider as a as a barrier still i mean uh that to 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 make that uh that project real work um, by mentioning a system for 30% and giving the 30% to a utility that needs another system in place. You know, it can be also a barrier. I mean, even if no, there is a solution. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not sure I, I understand. Let me, let me make an example. I have a 10 megawatt data center mm -hmm. and, and I approach a utility and, and tell the utility, I'm gonna give you three megawatt at these temperatures, and this is consistent. This is not gonna fluctuate. Then if you have the ability, sometimes I can give you five megawatts if you want, or we can make a, 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 an agreement, an SLA, where I give you three megawatts and that's consistent period. So I agree that this needs to be factored in, needs to be considered, but it, I don't think it's a barrier. But what? it's my it's my opinion. What what the other do, do the the other people think about this? Yeah, I think I think it could it could become a barrier because uh, then you need to take into account. I mean, you need to install a big system for those three megawatts. Um, you you are not taking the whole potential of it, so maybe the costs are too high. It could be a barrier, yeah. From uh, from the offering. Point of view now from the demand point of view i think we all agreed in summary right from the demand the heat demand but, well, well at least it, it it makes it impossible to say put in an s layer so for for 100 percent of the waste heat so so in in that sense uh, i agree that with, with uh, Jaime, that that it is sort of a barrier but yeah but but of course it it, it would make sense to say 30 percent it would be a guarantee, and, and and then we really don't know. We could we could generalize uh, in on this point and and talk about uh, problems matching offer with demand, and then inside we can put all of this. I mean, we can put uh, different heating needs depending on seasonality and so on, and uh, the challenge of of uh, of matching the offering. And how do you see it? Another thing I'm 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 not seeing these points maybe is uh, in somewhere inside is uh, the the potential conflict of a data center delivering heat um, uh, in some regions that maybe they are not allowed to because this is like a a, a competence only from from for utilities. Did you did you mention that? So I like that's a, that could be also. Uh, I did not mention that. Um, I. Did I, I would actually think that the thing to say there might be that, that that's basically a policy issue, it seems to me. Uh, yes. And I wonder whether we want to maybe strengthen this section down here to say that it's not just that there's a lack of policy, yeah. but in some cases there are policies that are adverse. Perfect. Yeah, I think that, that like a kind of, you know, intr intrusiveness that, that, uh, that utilities could see 
from the data centers, you know, delivering heat. I don't know if we say that in English, intrusiveness or, I don't know, like, a, yeah. like, a, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. If there's a example out there of that, you know, David, I was about to say that because we heard we heard the rumors about that, but I never actually. But I, I, I haven't even I haven't actually researched that. But do we have an example where this actually really happened? Somebody knows here in the round. Because the example that I heard is that in some areas, if you supply heat, you are considered a utility company. Yes, I've heard that. Yeah, but I don't know if that is actually it's just a rumor or, or or if it's true. And of course, no data center company wants to consider it because so, it's a utility company. <laughs> so just 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 clicking on on so just tipping on 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 Google that uh, reg regulation seat networks, uh, government of UK, and I think it says eligible heat suppliers. I mean. To be a heat supplier, you must be eligible. I don't know. Somebody here lives in the UK. I do, yeah, and and that is something um, Cosmo has kind of touched upon again. It was from uh, feedback from a colo provider um, that they were wanting the co-location company to almost be um, a utility provider, which gave them extremely cold feet straight away. <laughs> no kidding. Here's the here's the link right away. All right, so they exist. Good. Yeah, I mean, I just uh, putting that here. There are a range of obligations that the intermediaries, including heat suppliers, are compelled to undertake. So there, so then, then you, if you are a heat supplier, you are into a different category and so on. So there might be some, some uh, probably sm small letters, small text that we need to read. Yeah. But well, I just paste paste the the the, the link there, um, David. If you want to. That's great. Take that link. Yep. Uh, good. Um, we will. I, I, I can. I, I put it as a comment. Okay. While you, while you yeah, just continue if you want. I, I just. I, so it's easier. Uh, okay. That's good. Uh, so then, uh, this next section is about can and should, as you can read the headline, adopt policies. Uh, uh, so we sorted them into, just to review that point that I made earlier, we sorted them into three categories, then we can come back and look at the substance. So the first category was analyzing, analyzing data center waste heat, sharing information and promoting collaboration. Um, oh crap. Everybody Sorry. still, okay. I thought somehow everybody, I lost okay. everybody, but I didn't. Uh, okay, so first category is kind of uh, analyzing, sharing information and promoting collaboration. There's incentives categories. And then uh, I called it data center heat reuse standards. I'm not sure that's the right thing, but in essence, this was the mandatory category, but I tried to use it, words other than mandatory, um, but that's what's there. And so then if we go back up to the top here, uh, uh, the, well, the EU energy efficiency directive, it requires member states to do it in that sense, it's mandatory. But uh, as I understand it, Peter, you're more of an expert on this, that, that um, as it says in the second half of this paragraph, you're, uh, the, the nation states, the, the member countries uh, have to, basically assess uh, these waste heat sourcers, not only the, the potential sources of it, but also the users of waste heat and looking at future trends. Uh, they have to evaluate technical solutions. They have to quantify it, but as far as I could make out, or we could make out, they, they don't, there, there's no burden on the member state to adopt something more than that as we understood it. Um, well, that's a well, question. Uh, sorry. 
Yeah, well, yep. well, there are two different levels, uh, and de depending on the size of the data center, I uh, honestly I don't uh, really recall um, what what they um, what they require, um, okay. but but it's easy enough to find. I, I think I've been writing about it as well in in the papers I, I, I sent you. Okay, we'll double check. But I don't remember from the top of my head. Yep. Uh... They've also funded a heat and cold matching platform. Uh, I'm not sure how successful this thing is, but um, there there is such a thing. Uh, I can't remember. Somebody shared that with us on our last call. Maybe uh, Benjamin? Might have been. Benjamin. I, yeah, I just that's don't right. Remember. That's yeah. right. That, that's, that's your platform, right? No, no, it's another platform. It's, it's called. another one. It's another one, yeah. Um, it was published, I think, in July. It was online, okay. and it's on. It's for whole Europe, not only Germany. And are you planning to integrate yours into there or that one or? Um, not not at the moment. Okay, that's sad, right? It's like a, a, a competition between. Uh, mm. uh, okay. Maybe. Well, maybe, Benjamin, maybe if Maybe we could also I'm happy to the promote. One from Benjamin. Yeah, yeah, sorry. sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, no, absolutely right. Go, go uh, ahead, David. So if you share information about that, Benjamin, I'm happy to mm -hmm. install, put that in here as well. Mm -hmm. okay. I, I think they're good examples. And Jaime, I think it was you mm -hmm. who, uh, in one of our earlier calls, talked about the importance of mapping uh, You know, both heat uh, sources and heat use. And uh, these are that's exactly what these things are designed to do. Um, I, I could yeah. share new information and I guess in two months, then our platform will be online. That would be great. Yeah, it's, not, it's not online. I thought it was online, but it was online by the DCV Frankfurt. Yeah, it's uh, the, in development in the back. Okay. 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 Um, I mentioned the, sorry, I realized there's a typo here, which I'm getting rid of. Um, uh, and I don't know, uh, Otto, whether it's appropriate to think about your project as a demonstration project or there's a better way to think about it. Um, or yeah, you label know, it. yeah, maybe you just get rid of, rid of the word demonstration because, you know, it's, yeah. it, it's beyond that. I mean, it's been operating for a decade. So, um, yeah, yeah, How about yeah. that U.S. Yeah. government. Um, sure. Um, um, and do, so Peter also do, do you want to use I, I, I'm, I'm just this sure. is yeah. a, a, a semantic but do we want to use the word project or uh, has its own data center here to use uh, I don't know example or I, I don't know I mean in my mind project is something that is becoming right <laughs> Uh, maybe we should. I, I, I and, also... and and maybe I'm wrong. I mean, I, I'm not. English is not my first language, so. Uh, uh, really? <laughs> no, <laughs> and 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 not not in the bold part because these are projects is fine, but the Department of Energy, a, a National Renewable Energy Laboratory, has its own data center here to use. Example. I know. Um, we have Otto here. Maybe it's it's a project, <laughs> or is a. How would you self define yourself here? Otto. Yeah, no, I'm I'm debating also, um, <laughs> and it's semantics, but but maybe it's a uh, instead of we just say U.S. example. Um, and then get a, get around all this project type stuff. So if we just said that this is an example in the U.S. And if you like projects, we can leave projects. I mean, I just don't, yeah. don't, don't want to give the impression to someone who reads this and knows nothing that this is something that is not actually, that is a, like a, 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 a test. It's not a test. This has been going on, as you said, for, for 10 years. Yeah, and maybe a, a related comment. Um, 
do we, you know, we have the nice map, uh, the nice global map um, mm -hmm. on the OCP site. Do we, met, do we reference that somewhere? We do not. So happy to, to install that and whatever the, but in some respects, it seems like that might be better to put up somewhere near the front where we're talking about the opportunities and where we say there have been some projects. But, oh, there you go. Yes, That's a great idea. I think. Yeah. Uh, so we can add that. Uh, let me, sorry, just go back there. Uh, uh, we should probably say something in here. Perfect. Just very briefly about the U.S. government example section. Um, yep. I th there's another possibility. Uh, I, I was thinking about uh, U.S. government proof of concept. Yep. Um, well, we can continue to noodle on the language here. Um, uh, as we see fit, uh, I did put in this, the last bullet is about this piece of legislation that Peter referred us to that, uh, has only been introduced in the Congress. Uh, so it's not an actual policy yet. Um, but it, um, um, uh, it doesn't explicitly require sustainable energy generation from data centers and waste heat recapture or reuse. Uh, but it could, uh, it's an area where something could be added. It's just instead of saying recapture, we'll say reuse. Uh, uh, sorry, this wording is a little funny. So that would be changing the legislation to allow it, but um, which is a suggestion which I'd heard. Um, uh, from when I talked to the guy at the General Services Administration, uh, he was attempting to try to figure out how to do that. Yes, exactly. That's also my, my impression. Uh, so, yeah. yes. Uh, then we have a set of incentives. There's the Washington State Industrial Symbiosis Program um, that's designed to link people, but does also have a competitive grant program. Uh, the uh, there's the German Fund for Decarbonizing District Energy, New York State's Thermal Network legislation, and the Quebec incentives that we'd heard about in the presentation from QScale. Um, I guess that was earlier this year. Yeah. The 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 Germany's Fund for Decarbonizing District Heating uh, District Energy. This is what. Uh, what, um, how was his name? Oh, I, Brian. I, 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 Brian, yeah. Brian, Brian uh, McQuarrie, yeah. Yeah, uh, did, did he give you the 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 quote or is it something you, you found? No, he sent that and he also sent the uh, uh, a link to the uh, and background on the New York State thermal network uh, legislation. Okay. Solar thermal world, okay, perfect, great. It seemed in some ways that I, I couldn't, I didn't quite understand the problem that that addressed, but that's because I don't really understand. Uh, it wasn't clear from the article, but it seemed like it was largely aimed at solving for mm -hmm. some problems that people in the geothermal industry had run across um, and maybe aimed at getting at the issue that uh, you were raising early, Jaime, earlier, Jaime, about uh, giving you some ability to act like a utility or a gas yeah. utility, even if you are not. Uh, by the way, by the way, I just uh, uploaded to the to our folder a document from the Uptime Institute Intelligence, uh, Uptime Intelligence. That was a, a webinar they did a couple of months ago about the Energy Efficiency Directive, and it's very well digested to understand what is going to come. Good. Probably okay. has changed something from that point to now, but mm -hmm. I, I have checked that many times and uh, I haven't seen this. There's a, a nice table there where you can see that facilities above 500 kilowatts, 
uh, they will be will be uh, affected by this new energy efficiency directive and disclosing the information. Just uh, for you to know. Okay, that's great. Uh, and then finally, there's this section on the German energy efficiency law uh, that would actually mandate waste heat reuse standards for data centers and uh, I believe for other businesses. Um, so there's, we outline what those requirements are here and uh, we can fix this typo here. Uh, the, uh, the new energy efficiency standards for, sorry, energy efficiency standards for new data centers, uh, which will increase in their, uh, the requirements will increase over time. So in short, this means there are no standards, but this uh, proposed, this draft is uh, mentioning that there will be mentions of data centers heat reuse in the future energy efficiency standards. That's exactly correct. Okay. Is uh, there something and, else? And we'll need to, uh, yes. sorry, we'll need to keep an eye on that because at least my latest understanding is that this law has not passed. But were it to pass, we'd have to change the description to say it has passed, and now there are these things. Well, well, we'd have to describe what is actually in it as compared to what's in the proposal. Yeah, yeah, it, se have... it seems to be in the in in the process and and between uh, various uh, stakeholders right now. Uh, by by the way, I think it's uh, referred to as the German Energy Efficiency Act. Uh, okay. At least what I've found. Uh, Benjamin could perhaps set me straight there. Yes. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Yeah, Benjamin, you are always a sync with news around this. So uh, please keep an eye on on this. <laughs> I will do, yeah. Perfect. Um, is there something else? I mean, somebody has something in mind that there, is there some uh, standards? I mean, we can. I mean, we could mention standards that are mentioning heat reuse KPIs, but uh, is this something really relevant for this point? Um, we actually, the detail about the proposed standards is in the appendix. Uh, so okay. that's a good example of where we've uh, put that. Let me just go back. So uh, this is now, you're right. It's a better description to call it the act, um, which we'll fix that later. Uh, but uh, here are the standards for new data centers. Okay, now understand. Now understand your uh, what? Why are you using standards for? I was thinking about uh, ISO standards and so on, different stand type of standards. So we're yeah. a bit struggling. Um, okay, I th my be I, my opi my opinion again. Standard is something that could be ambiguous. I see. Okay, so going up here, we might want to say that uh, we don't use standard uh... requirements, requirements, thresholds, um, yeah. something like that. Yeah, uh, yeah, exactly. Because if we, when you say standard, I, I think it's quite automatic to think about the those standards. Yeah, in, absolutely. So much... Got it. Also in the text, I think uh, the proposed German Energy Efficiency Act, you, you mentioned some standards in the second line. Yep. Good. Uh, and and then again, I mean, I think the, my comment is it's still relevant because those those uh, requirements um, in in the German in the German Energy Efficiency Act and in the other uh, documents or regulations that we are seeing, they are mentioning. Now ISO standards where uh, the KPIs are defined, so mm -hmm. they are really uh, looping in into into those standards, and uh, so we all talk the same language. So probably it's it's also relevant to 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 put that in writing. Yep. Okay. Let me let me just add here a comment if you want. Mm -hmm. so. Yep. Sure. That's great.
do we want to uh, because i mean of course this is a global uh, i mean it's it's uh, supposed to be a, a global document but for for our participation this these talks about us and europe exclusively right we, uh, don't we have know. canada one one canada yeah, example. okay yeah canada you're right so let's say that, okay but um first of all do do we want to specify that uh, because we don't know if i don't know chile has some of these uh, incentives for instance i'm just Yes, right. of course, of course, China, India, Australia, New Zealand, all these places. I don't think that we know anything any about those first. And second comment, of course, e e even just based on these, uh, first of first of all, excellent job. I mean, David, really, really excellent job. Uh, uh, but um, uh, out of these, it's pretty clear that, uh, particularly in the US, there's not a federal and and therefore uh, 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 unique let's say point of view about this right correct and can we consider this as as a, a problem as well a challenge as well because a, a company i mean a, a large hyperscale company has to adapt to different legislations based on on the location and that is i mean we know that it's not good well, I certainly think that what well, two thoughts, uh, uh, actually, Cosmo, on your first point, I feel like uh, we should be clear that this paper is not a comprehensive analysis of every policy which might exist someplace in the world. Yeah. What we're offering here are, and perhaps the text needs to be more clear on that point, that what we're offering here are representative examples of the sorts of policies that governments have adopted, which could be beneficial. Um, and further, we're not offering, not only are we not offering an analysis of every policy that exists anywhere in the world, we're not offering an analysis of every policy that somebody might dream up that could be helpful <laughs> to encourage data center heat reuse. Uh, so we probably need to be clear that all we're offering here are examples of policies. Uh, then to your second point, I think there's a question about what I hear there is a question about whether we say something particularly about the United States because the Europe is ahead. I don't know that we have a comprehensive picture of Canada, nor nor really anywhere else. But we, you know, uh, I mean, we certainly could add something that kind of had an overall assessment that said, you know, policies, generally speaking, are ahead in Europe and much spottier in you know, North America or in the U.S. or something like that. So that I think that's that's a question for the group about whether that's whether that's the right thing to say or do here. Well, because in my opinion, that would be the segue for the next session engagement. Yep. Yes. Hmm. I. I... Even if, if we are not doing a, a, a thorough review of what is there outside, um, I think there is not so much to be afraid of putting some other examples, in my humble opinion. Like um, there are some other actions on heat reuse policies in, if I recall well, in the Netherlands, Denmark, and Norway. And uh, so I don't, I'm not aware of more anywhere. Um, mm -hmm. So it might be worth maybe to add a paragraph mentioning that. Uh, and uh, this could be, I think there are more requirements than, or they're rather in requirements or in the in sharing information, promoting collaboration. Uh, they're, because they're not subsidies. They're not incentives. Anyway, just, I'm just talking maybe, maybe aloud. Just saying that there might be, it might be worth to, to make a small further review on that. Maybe uh, um, I think, Maybe Peter can help us. I don't know, Peter. You are, uh, you did the the you wrote this this uh, this thesis. You're from Sweden. You 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 work in the in the academia. Maybe you have some references of this. Mm, um, well, I only heard uh, I only heard that and read it somewhere. I'm, I'm not really sure of um, uh, of what they would uh, contain, um, but. But I think in, in either way, I understand what you're saying and, and I, I agree, but I think in either way, I think that what David said that uh, these 
could be seen as examples of, of, of what what can be done. I think I think that is very uh, uh, very important to stress because th this. I mean, if we look at this white paper, as it, that that it can actually have some <laughs> some use. Uh, I, I think that it it goes to show for some people, uh, not least in the U.S., that oh dear, this legislation might might soon arrive. And we, we need to we need to prepare for this when we look at new designs and so forth. Okay, yeah. So that and that will be the part of engagement, right? The section four. Yeah, yeah. perhaps. And you know, I'm, we're happy to do a quick Google search to see if we could find anything about data center waste heat reuse in Denmark and Norway, and see you know whether we can find anything. But happy if anybody uh, does that Google search or knows of it and can send it our way, uh, we can certainly add it to the previous list. There you a link with a, a short overview. Okay. Great. Perfect. Um, so if we were to add something here that kind of characterizes the state of policy development in the world or in I don't know, maybe this is more focused on North America and Europe. Um, should we, what, what, I think that, what would we want I think to that say we need to be. I think that we need to be honest and realistic. We will never be able to have a, a document about the world. Yeah. And and I think that I would take your comment is, is I think it's, it's, it's spot on. We are presenting examples yeah of what, what what's going on in these regions i think a disclaimer at the beginning would be would helpful a disclaimer yeah. like and and, and that's yeah. it like uh, please don't take this as a, a a comprehensive throw and analysis of everything it's only uh yeah gathering gathering good examples good practices and i think that should be enough and then if we find something new, then we can always uh, introduce that there. I mean, we can make a second version or I don't know, of this paper. You know, like a review in 2025, I don't know, as I am, um, right. for example. If we see that, for example, Japan is suddenly moving a lot in this direction and, and we have a, they're doing something totally different. So then to Cosmo's question about, do we do we say something that policy is better developed in Europe and seems less well-developed in North America or the United States? Do we say something there that helps us then focus the engagement section? Mm. Would you say that in the section three or in a conclusion before section four, do you think is, is, is helpful? It, it seems to me it could go in either place. Mm. Um, uh, well, it's the, since, it's the since you have uh, done uh, very nicely in section three uh, an introduction paragraph, you can have a conclusion paragraph instead of section three. Yeah. So yes, why not? I mean, we could yeah. we could make a, a short comment on that. But as far as we have seen, then there are better examples or more examples in uh, in the old continent. So the question would be how we face on the engagement section, right? This section needs work. Yeah, so um, we can add something there. I'll draft that up. And then, yes, I think this engagement section, uh, uh, in part because, so what we have here, uh, we, in our, I think on our first call, I uh, can't remember who mentioned it, but you know, we heard about public utility commissions. People said we ought to talk to the energy saving uh, industry as potential allies, um, but I, I know I've heard separately from Cosimo that uh, it's been your view that even there's some engagement needed within the data center industry. That uh, you know we don't have people from government affairs and data center companies involved. Not that everybody who's involved in the data center industry has a government affairs person, but many do. Uh, and so I, I just think part of this is to think through, well, what is the pathway that we have to go if we're going to uh, see more policy 
uh, get uh, thought about, considered, and adopted. Uh, correct, correct. And yeah. and 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 the other point that I I don't maybe Peter uh, 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 made is that a legislation is going to likely come, maybe not next year, but in two, three years. So do, do we want to stay ahead of it and be part of the conversation or we want to just wait and, and see and then and, and then we we do what we are told to do? I think it's better if we stay ahead of it. But... Yep. Well, I, I know we're at the top of the hour, so I'm sure people have to go, but I think this is the area that we need to do some further thinking on. And um, I'm sorry, we we took enough time on the rest of it, which I think was very helpful that we didn't get into the discussion here. So maybe we're thinking that our next call is really focused on on this section and people can think about that uh, in the interim. Um, maybe yeah. that's the approach to take. I mean, also we can have, uh, I mean, everybody can put some comments on the document also on this, maybe draw some ballot points list on, on, yeah. on, on engagement actions, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a great, great job, really, uh, uh, David. Yeah, great job, really, David. Well, great job. It's uh, I, I, I wasn't expecting uh, so, so many pages, really. I mean, it's, it's great, great thing. I was really um, good. Um, right. sorry, you... question yeah. about the engagement. Um, yeah. is the purpose of that section um to discuss an engagement to drive policy decisions, or is it um? I guess to discuss the opportunities that um, we would have had earlier on in section one. And that's, I'm just asking that because it seems that um, space heating was the only application that um, we would have seen a lot of the policies and stuff addressing. But when we talk about pharmaceuticals, food and beverage, et cetera, um, th there wasn't really much reference to those later on in the document. So I'm wondering if engagement was the place to kind of get more examples of those things yeah i agree I agree like a I th broad, I think that, broadening the scope i think there are some i would say that some of the things that are out there uh, mm -hmm. for example i as i read that uh, german energy efficiency act it appears to me that they're simply requiring new data centers to reuse the heat somewhere they don't specify okay. where that heat ought to be. Uh, even, I don't know about, um, uh, I think that uh, that uh, that heat uh, platform that the EU had funded includes waste heat from, it includes, I know it includes waste heat from places other than data centers. So a big steel mill, for example, if they will. But I believe it also includes people end users who are well beyond district heating or space heating. It's designed to try to figure out if there are industrial sources there. Um, uh, so there's some of the policies, are, I think, are broad enough that they, I guess that's my point, is the policies are broad enough that they apply to more than space heating or district heating. Okay, I saw that one. It was just, I when I read it, I thought um, it was that was high quality heat. So we are getting very high temperatures and, you know, the waste reuse, percent, reuse potential um, was much higher. Yes. And when yeah. we talk specifically about data centers, um, I think it would help, I guess, to see to see more um, expansive uh, opportunities. That was it. That was at, really. At, I see. Got it. At, so at the lower temperatures, you're saying that, that maybe that there's explicit needs centers. there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. That was it for Great. me. Great. Uh, right, great. Yes. Uh, well, thank you, everybody. Uh, thank you. We're we're making good progress here. Thank you thank very you. much. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thanks. Thank you, everyone. Bye bye. Good job, Dave.